Hey, it's Matt from 3D Printing Canada, and today I'm going to show you how to install a MicroSwiss FlowTech hotend on your Bamboo Lab P1S. So I'm going to skip the long intro and just show you what's in the box. Okay, let's open it up. So first on top we have the instructions. Now the instructions are pretty clear, but we're making this video because some people like videos more than looking at a sheet of paper. So if you wanted to, you could go through this and I recommend you do read through this anyways. It goes into pretty good detail with some good pictures on how to install it. And then for the actual component itself, we have a few new screws. These are slightly different length than the standard screws on your Bamboo Lab P1S. So you're gonna wanna use these and not reuse the original. And then here's the hot end itself. <clears throat> we have the silicone sock over it. And then underneath here, this is the nozzle. So unlike the standard Bamboo Lab P1S hot end, this one has a nozzle that can be taken off separately. And it's actually a cold removable nozzle. So you can take this off when it's completely cold. You don't have to heat it up or anything. And that is one of the big benefits of this hot end. You don't have to replace this whole unit when you want to replace your nozzle, like the one on the Bamboo Lab. And I'll show you when I take it off exactly what I'm talking about. That is definitely a big upgrade. And another good upgrade is that you can standardize your whole fleet of printers. If you have multiple printers, you can get this hot end for a lot of different brands of printers, from Creality to Bamboo to Elegoo. And then what you can do is you can just have the same nozzle for every printer you have. So you can easily just swap it. If you're constantly running through nozzles, you just have to buy one type. Or you can just have you know, your different diameters and just switch through those easily without having to heat up your printer or anything, not having to take off the whole hot end. You can just screw it in just like that. And then also in the box here, we have this little socket for your nozzle. Now, something cool about this, this is a 3D printed component and it actually has the torque built into it. So when you're tightening it, you just tighten it until it clicks and it'll be fully torqued out to the perfect spec. You don't have to worry about over tightening or under tightening this nut. So before you do anything, make sure your printer is turned off and the power is unplugged. First, you're gonna remove the cover. It's just on magnets. You can just lift it up and kind of just tuck it off to the side. Then you're gonna remove the hot end by removing these two screws in the front. So let's just start with that. These two screws you're going to reuse, so do not lose them. Now unplug the two lower connectors here. That is for the hot end and the fan. Pull it away from this little clip here. And you can pull away the hot end as you do that. So now your hot end's removed. So you can see them side by side now, and you can tell they kind of look a little different. There's some things we need to do to it before we put it onto the printer. So we are going to be reusing this fan here. So I'm gonna start by removing these two screws. And then I'm gonna transfer this over to our new hot end. Now make sure you keep the fan in the same direction because that affects which way it blows. And here, these are the old screws. We are not gonna use those. This is where we use the new silver screws. And then just tighten them down till they're snug. They don't need to be super tight because you can bend the metal if you over tighten it. And there we go. So this is the old bamboo original hot end. And what I meant when I said you couldn't replace the nozzle without taking off the whole hot end is that this is connected to the hot end. When you buy a new hot end, you have to replace this whole unit. Whereas on the new micro Swiss one, you can just replace the nozzle. This one will not screw out. So I mentioned earlier the socket with the automatic torque setter. And this is what I mean. So you're screwing on the nozzle, then you can take this and listen. When it clicks like that and moves, that's as tight as it goes and it won't tighten it any further. So to install it, we're basically going to just do the reverse. So first you can insert the hot end. It'll likely hold itself in place with friction, but keep a hand on it just in case. Now you can put your screws in. These are the screws that we took off originally and just tighten it up. So the instructions say to plug them in first and then tuck these wires in. I always find it easier to actually tuck them in first and then plug them in. That's just something I've been doing and it always worked for me. So you can try it yourself and see what you prefer. Put the slightly smaller one on top and then the other one underneath. And the last thing you do before you cover it back up is put the silicone sock on. 
And you can just put the magnetic cover back on and that's all there is to it, nice and easy. And just to show you how easy it is to change the nozzle, I'm gonna do it real quick here in real time. So, press the cutter, pull this off, pull the sock off, unscrew this, And that's the nozzle removed. And that's all there is to installing your MicroSwiss FlowTech Hotin. And if you have any other things you want me to install in this printer and show you how to do it, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next time.